SAP Mobile App Protection by Mokana. Secure enterprise apps on mobile devices. In this demonstration, you'll see how SAP Mobile App Protection makes it easy to apply security policies automatically and consistently across all your organization's mobile apps. Using a simple point-and-click interface, you can quickly and easily secure mobile apps, whether custom-developed or from third parties, even on devices that you do not control or that are not on your network. And you can do all this without writing code. Advanced security features and encryption capabilities can be added after the apps have been developed. Let's take a look at just a few of the security policies you can apply through SAP Mobile App Protection. Consider the Data at Rest policy, which administrators and developers can use to ensure that app data stored locally on a device is protected wherever their apps land. Local data is encrypted using a FIPS 140-2 certified encryption module with AES 256-bit encryption in XTS mode. You can apply this protection to corporate devices, BYO devices, even personally owned but corporate managed devices, so sensitive data can be secured in both managed and unmanaged scenarios with ease. SAP Mobile App Protection provides a powerful federation mechanism that enables you to define distinct collections of wrapped apps. And you can federate not just internally built applications for Android or iOS, but also applications that third parties have developed. Federation facilitates a secure copy and paste policy too. Protected information cannot be copied from a protected app to an unprotected or unwrapped app. The business rules governing information exchange are enforced in the background though, and enforcement is transparent to the user when copying and pasting between federated wrapped apps on the same device. SAP Mobile App Protection also features a geofencing policy that enables you to restrict the use of wrapped apps to specifically defined locations. Such a location could be as small as a building or campus or as large as a country. When users move outside the area bounded by the geofence, they will be denied access if they try to use a protected app. As soon as they move back into the approved area, they can regain access to the app. If you work in healthcare, retail, or banking, and want to ensure that critical applications are used on-premise only, you can see how such a geofencing policy can help. Other key SAP Mobile App Protection policies include an app expiration policy, which is particularly useful if you have contract workers, temporary employees, or interns using your mobile apps. You can set an expiration date for a wrapped app, and after that date, the wrapped app is effectively disabled on a user's device. If the user tries to access the app after the expiration date, he or she will see a message indicating that access has been denied, and they'll see the dates between which they had been authorized to use the app. Users who really do need continued access, for example, if a contractor extends their contract, can contact their administrators for updated apps. Finally, let's consider the data wipe policy that you can implement using SAP Mobile App Protection. If an employee has left the company or an intern has returned to school, the app expiration policy we just described can prevent them from accessing the apps they previously used. The data wipe policy can actually remove protected data from their mobile device, but it will leave all other data on the device, such as the owner's photos, contacts, and so on. Everybody wins here. You can be sure that your organization's critical data will not be leaked, and the device owners can be sure that their private or personal data will not be wiped away by the enterprise when they've left. As you have seen, SAP Mobile App Protection makes it easy to apply security policies automatically and consistently across all your mobile apps. Using a simple point-and-click interface, you can quickly and easily secure your organization's apps and confidential information, even on devices that you do not control or that are not on your network. <laughs>